This is experiment three, density of saline solutions. Mix well without spilling, no inversion. So we've just put our sodium chloride in here and we've put in approximately 25 milliliters. Looks like I've got closer to 30 milliliters in here. And I've got my solid in the bottom and I need to dissolve it. Now, the reason you cannot do inversion with this is if I were to put something over this with some plastic or a gloved hand and then invert it, some of the solution would get onto my hand and I wouldn't know what, uh, how much solution I have. I'd lose some salt too. So uh, the only option for us is to swirl, swirl, swirl. And when you do that, you should see, and they're not very photogenic, so... Um, but you're going to have to look in your graduated cylinder to see this. Um, there are swirlies, and those swirlies are density fluctuations uh, due to the dissolving of salt as it mixes with the water above it. So what I'm going to do is uh, I have um, five grams. I've chosen sea salt, which has some big grains. The smaller the grains of salt, the faster they will dissolve. But uh, So mine's going to take longer than most. I'm going to swirl it. I'm going to swirl it. Fortunately, as I swirl it, my water will stay in here. It is easy, relatively easy to keep from spilling your solution, right? Because if we spill any solution, there will be some salt dissolved in it and it will throw off our calculations. But just keep swirling, just keep swirling. I don't know if you're a fan of Finding Nemo. I know I've seen it more than a couple times in which they say, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. That's actually not a bad lesson for this class as well overall. Just keep swimming, just keep doing it. Just keep doing the labs. And before you know it, it'll be done and you'll never have to do it again which I understand. This is actually dissolving pretty quickly. I've still got a little bit of salt there. You can still where I repaired the base, see where I repaired the base of my graduated cylinder with some scotch tape, help it sit more evenly. And all we're going for here is we want all of the sodium chloride to be dissolved before we add the rest of our water. This is real time. Feel free to skip ahead to the end because all I'm going to do is wait for it to dissolve and try and see it in my bifocals. Almost there. And once it's all dissolved, you're done. The reason we dissolve it all is because uh, when something dissolves, a solute such as sodium chloride dissolves in water, there can be volume changes. And so if you were to put in all 50 milliliters, first of all, it would be harder not to spill it. Second of all, there are volume changes, and that's the principal reason we're dissolving this now. Volume changes, because if you put five milliliters or whatever volume of salt and then fill it up with water, the level can change. We just want to make sure that that doesn't happen. So we're dissolving it now. This is a generally good principle. So dissolve whatever you're doing and then make up the solution to the final volume. So close. Two small grains there giving me a hard time. One small grain. Take one down, mix it around. One small grain of salt remaining. One small grain of salt in the cylinder. One small grain of salt. Take one down, swirl it around. 
zero grains of salt. Mm. 